What's going on, guys? So this is basically uh, games two and three of my sh rookie showcase. I'm going to let you watch those in their entirety. And then the draft at the end, and you can see kind of where I go, and then my decision if I'm going to go back to college or continue on and sign with a team that drafted me. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. We'll have some with more videos very soon. So enjoy the video, and we'll catch you later. Peace. Have gathered to compete in the three day Tops Amateur Showcase here on MLB The Show. One game for each team is in the books, and now it's on to day two, and we've got a good matchup ahead between the prospects from the Eastern Seaboard and the prospects from the Central Region. And let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers as you see how they stack up right there. Chubby Goose will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the Leading first. The central central prospect. Prospect. Center, center fielder, fielder. Chubby, Chubby Goose. Goose. And he gets around on the fastball here as this is hit fairly well out toward left field. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for route number one. That is Chubby Goose will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. In there for strike one. That's not really a bad take that time. You've got a guy out there on the mound that's had his hands full already, so you've got to make him prove that he can find the zone. Fouled straight back. Three runs already home here. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Well... He's going to go grab some pine after losing the battle on that no, one. But it, hopefully he can it let it go and Joel put together a better Pini. effort in his next at-bat. I, I know these scouts and attendants are interested in seeing what he can do at the plate, but they also want to see how he responds when things don't go his way. Juan Abreu will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. And that's off his leg on the mound. The right, the right. Chubby Goose will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Close to the bag, it's second there, now the pitch. Hit on the ground towards first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Well, he does move the runner over there, but he obviously wanted to do a lot more with that A-B. In a typical game, his team might appreciate this outcome, but. In a showcase game like this one, you really want to drive balls, get base hits, and drive in runs. Juan Abreu will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined, so apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. Swing, 
swing and he pops him up behind the bag at second. Abel will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Now, now, now. Chubby Goose will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. Gets the call on the changeup there, 2-1. and one. Pretty gutsy pitch there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. First and second here with nobody out. And a strike on the fastball. So from 2-0, two oh, it's 2-2 two and two now. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Runner holding tight at second, now the pitch. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Well, he goes down there on strikes, but I don't think these scouts will hold it against him too much. He made the pitcher throw quite a few pitches, and that's something you always like to see in a young player, someone who's willing to battle and compete up there at the plate. Back up the middle, and that'll get through. It's into center, a base hit. And he is safe at the plate as he just sneaks in there in time, and it's now a 7-4 game. Chubby Goose will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Line to left. White is there. Let's see if they try it. And that one just not deep enough, so they'll wisely hold him at third with one out in the inning now. Well, that was a nice stroke right there. He doesn't get the base hit, but I'll bet the scouts will still like the at-bat. Sometimes you just get unlucky up there, but when you're hitting the ball on the line with authority, you've got nothing to feel bad about. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our Tops Player of the Game Award? Yeah, and I think we probably could have given this award to three or four different people. It has been an enlightening weekend so far for the best amateur players in the world, the top 100 of whom have gathered to put their skills on display. And they'll have one more shot to impress here on day three of the Topps Amateur Showcase presented by MLB The Show. This afternoon, we wrap things up with the third and final game in this round-robin competition between the international prospects and the prospects from the central region. And with first pitch just moments away, here's a look at today's starting lineups.
And let's also get a look at our two starters in this one, as you see a couple of right-handers getting the baseball. Adam Burns will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. Line hard to center field. Goose is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Chubby Goose will step in now to lead things off in the home Leader half of the first. Center fielder, Center fielder. Chubby Goose. First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. Goodness. 0 oh 2 now. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Well, that wasn't much of an at-bat right there. Three pitches, three strikes, go grab some bench. I mean, this pitcher looked outright dominant in that matchup. And the batter, well, he looked completely outmatched. Center fielder, Chubby, Chubby Goose. Goose. Chubby Goose is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball that's 1-0. And I think that's been a big part of the problem so far. He just can't locate his fastball, especially in situations where he has to. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Runner holding tight at second, now the pitch. In the air to straightaway center field. Holbrook is right there, one down. The batter. Lawrence Gaines will dig in. He popped out his first time. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Steve Eric and I are back with more. Chubby Goose will stand in now. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 thus far. Here's a curveball that runs outside. It's ball one. Oh, and he lays one down here, and this is going to be a tough play. And the pitcher, in fact, will just take a bite out of this one, an infield single. Chubby Goose will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. Chubby Goose. And now the second pitch of the inning is hit in the air to center. Holbrook is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far. Now bad. Chubby Goose will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And here's the first pitch. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. And 
this is lined into left field and that'll get down for a base hit his second of the afternoon. You know when you're playing in front of scouts and the Major League Baseball draft is just right around the corner every good thing you can do helps. It's only a single right here but I'm sure he's pretty happy about it. And he's one of those guys that really needs to impress here at the Topps Amateur Showcase to ensure that he goes in those early rounds of the draft. So a good offensive showing for these guys. But if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a couple of hits. But more importantly, that big home run, which really led his guys to this victory. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out well, more, head on over to theshownation.com. The Central they Stars win this one, 6-2. to two. So long. Welcome back to the Major League Baseball First Year Player Draft. Having just completed the first three rounds, we will now begin the fourth round. The first pick of the fourth round is officially on the clock. With the first pick in the fourth round, the Houston Astros select Eric Ramirez, a right fielder from the international region. With the second pick of the fourth round, the Miami Marlins select Andres Castro, a relief pitcher from the East Region. With the third pick in the fourth round, the Chicago White Sox select Henry Shasha, a center fielder from the International Region. With the fourth pick of the fourth round, the Minnesota Twins select Chubby Goose, a center fielder from the Central Region. All right, we're making our way through the middle rounds of the first-year player draft now. What do you guys have to say about this most recent selection? Well, at this point, it's really hard to tell how any of these mid-round picks will turn out. I'm sure some of them will exceed expectations and become productive big leaguers, but most of the time, these guys are likely to be what we call career minor leaguers. You know, most organizations are looking to fill in the holes and add depth with these mid-round picks, but... Every once in a while, they can get lucky and catch lightning in a bottle. Yeah, and you know, it's hard to say how any of these draft picks will turn out. But we do know a little bit about this guy that was just taken. We saw him at the Topps Amateur Showcase, and he didn't do a whole heck of a lot to impress me. But I can see that he does have some tools, and that could help him develop nicely in the minor leagues. He's just going to have to put up numbers down there and get himself on a big league roster's radar. Who knows? Maybe this guy beats the odds and he'll make it to the show someday.